It's a jeep, it's a boat, and it saves lives. I sat with Batanga State University's Dr. Tirso Ronquillo, who talked about this very handy vehicle called the Toad, or Tactical Operative Amphibious Drive. So the vehicle looks like a simple owner-type jeep. Okay. So it's made up of stainless steel and aluminum to make it uh, rust resistant. So that's the material that we use in the making. So it uh, consists of two mm, engines, one for land navigation and one for water navigation. Mm -hmm. So it's a... So this is an amphibious vehicle. It can go from land to, uh, yes. to, to water, yes. to, sea, to seafaring as well, or yeah. water. Water, yes. Okay. The test went well, no? It was very successful. This was as back in uh, February, it just recently, right? Yeah, yeah. It was tested uh, and launched uh, officially last February 4 in the Lake Yacht Club. So it uh, navigates uh, in water, uh, very stable and watertight. So the shift from uh, water to land is very smooth. So it went uh, successfully during the test. This is really intended for LGUs, Local Government Unit uh, Disaster Response Team. So all over the country, we are planning to rolling this out. Uh, as you may notice, this is just a uh, first phase of our design. We intend to uh, have another phase of this. I noticed that it's a six-seater vehicle, yeah, but when yeah. you talk about uh, doing uh, disaster uh, operations or rescue operations, I mean, a six-seater could have its limitations. Are there any plans for developing uh, further vehicles or um, further designs or further okay. models of the Toad? Maybe Big Brother Toad, I don't know. Yeah, 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 so. yeah, yeah. We have plans, really. In fact, our design for the improvement is, is already on, our, uh, on its way. And uh, we are planning to make it uh, uh, accommodate more passengers. And uh, we already have uh, received uh, some, some uh, suggestion from different agency or some pledges for funding to make it uh, a little bigger. Mm -hmm. so that it can accommodate more passengers during calamities and uh, emergency response. How, how big a uh, craft do you think Toad could, you, you could, uh, we toad are, could actually be Now it can, accommodate, it can accommodate around 5 to 6 person, mm -hmm. but maybe uh, between uh, 15 to 20 we are, we are planning to have wow. these uh, this, uh, vehicles. Mm -hmm. Unlike in uh, ordinary rescue where they're, they're, they can be applied only in floods, uh, flood streets, this can navigate even in open water. So mm -hmm. they thought of uh, using this as a transport vehicle from one point to another in waters. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are all also targeting some individual enthusiasts, not only LGUs for this uh, vehicle. So as our previous uh, future market. So it seems that a lot has uh, happened with the development, a lot of uh, progress, and so far it's been so good. Um, is there a target date for the de uh, delivery or the of uh, these of these crafts or the toads to LGUs? Oh, okay. So this is just a as I have mentioned, page one. And it took us around a year no, to, to finish this. So possibly in two years, we can, we can develop a bigger version of this. And um, more likely, we can deploy this to LGUs all throughout the country hmm. for, uh, for application during uh, you think, do you calamities. Think, do you think within the year, this could be this, uh, within uh, this, this, this uh, a reality? Uh, within this year, possibly. No, no, no. Possibly not this year. Yeah, yeah, Perhaps yeah. next year then. Yeah, possibly, possibly. Because as I have mentioned, this version, is, it took us a year. But for a bigger version, maybe two years. Mm -hmm. So program will be starting, so it will take us another two years. Uh, okay. How many more? Um, how much more testing do you plan to put the toad? Uh, I mean, you've done you've done a, ha a handful of uh, rounds of testing. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many? I mean, how much more? How, how more extensively are you planning to test uh, the the toad prototypes? Do you actually? So far? It, it's now uh, ready uh, for you, so we can use it any time. So we are done with the testing already. So we can we can use it and we can deploy it actually. Mm. How, and. Um, how much would a toad cost? When, when we will be uh, mass producing this, it will cost less than a million. We can, we can cut the cost to less than a million you know, for this. So that this can be uh, affordable. Uh, just under a million or well under a million? Would you say uh, let's say from 800, to, from 800 to, to 1 million. So we can, we can uh, sell this out for right. this version.